Recent sub-zero temperatures are creating ice conditions on the Bay of Green Bay. The U.S. Coast Guard says it hasn't seen in years, and that could cause big problems for the upcoming shipping season. NBC 26's Alex Hagan takes a closer look. It may seem quiet on the port of Green Bay right now. Preparing reports, but looking for documents. Director Dean Hain has a busy off season, says despite 2.2 million tons of cargo passing through last year, cold temperatures and ice buildup cut the shipping season short. Raw materials that were destined to come in that were unable to come in, so there's now um, a less supply. Now concerns for next season, ice piling up on the bay, Hain eyes mid-March. We'll likely need to start uh, on time. Ice reaching 30 inches thick in some areas, not good for ships. So how do you fix this problem? Well, it starts with breaking the ice and the U.S. Coast Guard says it's been one of the toughest years yet. How tough? Difficult for ships to get through. Lieutenant Jason Stanko of the U.S. Coast Guard and his crew of 20 haven't seen ice like this in 24 years. Busier than normal, many more hours underway, uh, a lot heavier uh, ice uh, thickness and, uh, and ice coverage. Their latest ice crushing trip lasting more than a month. And I have complete complete confidence that we'll get it done. It has to get done as the port has a $88 million economic impact on Green Bay. In Sturgeon Bay, Alex Hagan, NBC 26.